Okay, well, we had a lot of pictures of hail and a lot of you seeing tremendous amounts of it over the uh, Saturday time frame over the weekend. Just a few of the pictures that you sent me on Facebook. I really do appreciate that, by the way. Helps us let you know what's going on out there. And I was flooded with your comments. And uh, again, keep them coming. With it. it works both ways. It helps me out, and then I can help you out with the forecast. But I wanted to give you some insight as to why we had so much hail. A lot of folks said, you know, I cannot ever remember it being like this and in terms of uh, that much hail falling that uh, significantly and, and getting the uh, tornadic activity that we had as well. Well, this is what was going on and I've tilted a radar picture from Franklin County in three dimensions here and I've studied the upper levels to show you that storms are 3D, okay? So what's happening on the ground there's a lot more happening above and it can be a lot different as you're going to see in just a second. You've got to remember that. And the other thing you have to remember is that air not only blows from side to side, but in a thunderstorm like the ones we had Saturday, it can blow up and down. All right. It was 68 degrees across the greater Franklin County area in Roanoke uh, during the afternoon on Saturday. I mentioned that sunshine came out and warmed us up. That's all well and good. And it's been a pretty uh, warm March as well. But the upper levels up high in the sky do not warm up quite as much. And in fact, we had a reinforcing shot of very cold air up there. 68 at the surface. The top of this uh, particular storm near Rocky Mount was about 30. 2,000 feet or so. The temperature there was 22 degrees below zero, 22 degrees below Fahrenheit, an incredible temperature difference. So there answers one of your questions there and kind of get you started. But also notice here on the radar signature, what you're seeing on the ground is connected with the cloud here. But as you go up in a, uh, a little farther to the northeast, you can see how we've actually got kind of a bounded region where the uh, moisture and the hail is suspended up into the sky. It's not hitting the ground. What's happening, this is a very strong updraft. These are how storms and especially severe storms form and they breed on this is the air actually comes from the ground, rushes up into the sky and can hold that moisture at that uh, freezing level or sub-freezing level. So we get some rain droplets in here. They don't quite freeze uh, until they get up here around negative 22 or so. And uh, there's a lot more detail to this, but I'm going to keep it kind of simple. Uh, basically what happens is gravity eventually tries to take over. Some air currents uh, take this uh, hail particle back down to the ground. But because the updraft is so strong, it gets picked right back up again. And it can do this several, several times. And that cycle can repeat itself each time it adds another layer to the hail. Obviously with a 68 degree temperature at the bottom and a negative 22 at the top of the storm, we had enough drive with that temperature contrast to keep this going for a long time and make these hailstones very big. Just incredible to see. Eventually, of course, they get big enough to slam into the ground. That's exactly what happened, especially over Ferrum. This is an earlier image. I just showed you one that, when it was over Rocky Mount, but if you step back in time a little bit, you can definitely see uh, what was going on here. We had the uh, hail and the possible tornado near Ferrum College and flooding rains to boot, but you can see, look at the, uh, the uh, purples and the, and the whites here going up into the air not hitting the ground yet because the air was being pushed up and then rotating around some of the sub-freezing air and that circulation helped create all that hail that we had over the area for Saturday. By the way, it was a dangerous situation. I'm glad that no one was hurt. A lot of damage across the area. Hailstones, we had up to two to three inch hailstones in diameter. When they get that big, can fall out of the sky at about 60 to 70, sometimes 80 to 90 miles an hour. So you might as well be standing out in front of a major league pitcher at a baseball game and having them throw a uh, baseball right at your head if you were out there in that. So luckily people were pulling over and that's why you had a lot of damage out there as well. Quiet weather uh, coming up for the rest of this week. Just some frost and freeze advisories out tonight. Uh, but I wanted to just give you more insight on what happened over the area on Saturday.